it's Jordan Teen One here, and today I'll be showing you how to make two new bracelets. Both of these designs are just different width variations of bracelets that I had come up with in the past, and the first one is just a little bit smaller version of the Weavezilla. So this was the original Weavezilla. It has three rows in the center, and then the bands alternate sides. And the one I'm going to be showing you today, I'm calling the Weave Runner. And it's basically the same thing, only it has two rows instead of three. So it's going to be a little bit skinnier. And then the other bracelet that I'm going to show you, I had done the mini film strip, which is just one row. And in this one, I'm just calling this the regular film strip bracelet. And it just has two rows in the center but the bands always stay on the same side. So it's just a little bit wider version of the film strip. So you can make this using either the Monster Tail Loom or the Rainbow Loom. And today I'm going to be showing it on the Rainbow Loom. You want to have your pins set up in a staggered position so they're not in line with one another. And you want the arrows to be facing you so that all of the opened ends are facing you. If you're using the monster tail, you would just use six pins in the shape of a rectangle. And on the rainbow loom, we're going to be working with all three of the rows. For your rubber bands, you're going to need about 90. And today I'm going to use white, blue, and red. So I've decided to use red for the inside colors and blue and white for the outside. So I'm going to start with my inside color, so it's the red. I'm going to go to the fourth pin up from the bottom of the loom, and I'm going to place this band straight across to the far right side. There's no need to twist. And now I'm going to go to the next pin above in this left hand row. I'm going to pl place my second band, it's going to be red also, going straight across to the right, skipping over this center row. And now I want to place my last band that is going to go in the center row. It's going to go from the third pin up and it's going to skip over the fourth pin and then go up to the fifth. So I'll start with the navy blue. It's going around this middle pin and going to that pin above. And I also want the band to go alongside of the pin. So I want it always to go on the right side. And now what I'm going to do is take the bands that are on the left and move them over to the right. So I'll start with the one closest to me. Just taking it off and moving it over to the right. And I'll do that for the next one as well. And now I want the bottom red band to come over the top. Do that for each of these pins. And now finally what I'm going to do is take this band on my hook and I'm just going to leave it on my hook but I'm going to stretch it and wiggle it back and forth as I'm gently pulling on that to make this slip knot get nice and tight up against there. And I'm going to do the same thing for the upper one. I just want to leave it in line with the pin as best as I can because these are movable now on this blue band. I've repeated the same pattern up above so I can show you the two different bracelets because they both begin the same exact way, but the difference is going to be where the red bands or the center bands are placed. So in the bottom one here I will show you the weave runner and for that I need one of the red bands to be on the left. So I'm taking this bottom one and moving it over and then the other one has to be on the opposite side so it's going to be on the right. In the film strip bracelet, both of the bands are going to be on the same side. Now I'm going to put my second rubber band on and it's going to be in the center. And I'm going to be switching between the navy blue and the white. It's always going to go on top of the same pins. So I'll start on the bottom here. It's going to skip the middle, go around the right hand side, and go to the pin above. And I'll do the same thing up above here. And every time I put one rubber band on, I want to change the positions of the center bands. 
So this bottom one on the left will move over to the right. And then the one on the right is going to move over to the left. For the one up above here, they're both on the same side, so they're both moving from the right over to the left. I'm going to push this down and now I want to do my next layer I'm not going to remove any of the center bands until I have three layers on so I've done two layers I'm going to go back to the blue again they're always going on the same pins just skipping around the right hand side of the center one And now the red bands need to change positions. So at the bottom here, it's going to go from the right to the left. And on the top one, the left to the right. And on the top one here, they're both moving over to the right. And now that I have three layers on the center here, I want the bottom rubber band to come off. So I'll start here at the bottom. I'm just taking this blue rubber band and removing it and the same thing above here you're going to have to reach it from the side so I'm just going on the left hand side here you can do either side grabbing hold and pulling it over and I'll do the same thing for the one above here and push that down so I'm just going to continue on in the same pattern adding bands to the middle and then changing the position of the center bands so let me just show you this one more time. I'm going to do a layer of white. Doing that for both of these. And now the red bands need to change sides. And from now on, I'm going to remove that bottom layer every time I put a layer on. So this time I have the white band to come off the bottom. And I'm always pushing down. And eventually these red center bands are going to get too tight and you're going to need to add an extension. And I'm just going to fast forward here until I feel like these center bands are getting too tight and I will show you how to do that extension. Now I feel like my red center bands are starting to get too tight so I want to add an extension. And in order to do that, I'm just going to take a red band. I'm going to place it from the left-hand side to the right in whatever row I'm working on here. So starting at the bottom, it's the fourth pin up. I'm going to do that for where all of the center bands are. Do the same thing for the one above here. And it's important wherever the bands are on which side they're placed that they stay on there. So for my bottom band, the red at the bottom here is on the right, so I want it to stay on the right hand side. So I'm going to take this bottom red and pull it over the top and into the middle, and I want the bands to come back over to the right, so I'm taking the one on the left and moving it straight across. And now I will take the bottom band and pull it over the top to make a slip knot. And now I'm going to just take this off with my fingers. I'm going to pull this nice and tight because I want that slip knot to be as small as possible so you don't notice it within the bracelet. I'm going to place that right back on the pin. Now for this upper band, the bottom one was on the left so I want it to stay there. So I'm just going to pull this off. And now I want the band on the right to come back over to the left going to put the bottom band over the top to make that slip knot and then I'm going to pull that nice and tight to make a really small slip knot and put it back on. I'll do the same thing for the ones above here. This is the film strip bracelet and since both of these are on the left since they're always on the same side 
Just going to pull that over the top and move the band from the right over to the left. Pull the bottom over the top and pull this slip knot nice and tight. And then one more here, just repeating that same pattern. And pulling this nice and tight. So now I can just continue on with the same pattern of making my bracelet. The only thing is, once you add this extra extension, the bands are very loose, you can see. So as you're putting the next layers on and moving these back and forth, you might have to use your fingers to hold them against the pins just until you do a few layers so they stay nice and tight within the bracelet because you want it to have that even look throughout the bracelet so you want them to have the same amount of tension on each of the bands. So let me just put on one more layer to show you what I mean. So I'm onto the blue here. And now the red bands need to change sides. And if you have a problem with them wanting to pop off, mine are staying on okay right now, but sometimes they want to be difficult and just slip right off of there. You can pull your bracelet through the bottom. The tighter you have it pulled down, the more of a chance that you're going to have these bands staying on where you want them. And as I'm moving them across, I do want to just make sure that I pull up on them within the bracelet just a little bit, not super tight, but enough that they're staying tight within the bracelet. Do the same thing up here. The red bands need to move to the opposite side. You can see what I was talking about with this one, how it's wanting to just jump right off of that pin. So in this instance, you might have to use your fingers to hold it down. I'll show you. I'll hold it from underneath and I'll use my finger to hold this in place. Again, the same thing with this one. You can see this one doesn't want to stay either. So, And also I want to make sure that they're tight within the bracelet. Now, for the film strip bracelet, these don't have to be quite as snug. For some reason, they work out a little better when they're not quite as tight. But you may just have to use your fingers to hold these in place. And now I need that bottom layer to come off. And I'm pushing all of this down. And as I said, if you pull this bracelet down from the bottom here, it will also help to get these red bands to stay on that pin. So I'm just going to continue on with the same pattern and when my center bands feel like they're getting tight I'll add a new red band for the center, put on the extension and then when the bracelet gets long enough I will show you how to remove it from the loom. When you have your bracelet to the length that you'd like and you're ready to remove it from the loom, you should have two rubber bands on each of the center pins and then one rubber band on either side. So what you're going to do is take these two rubber bands, I'm going to start at the bottom here, I'm going to get them on my hook, I'm going to move them to the right here where this red rubber band is, put those back on the top. And now I'm going to take the ones on the top here, I'm going to take these two bands and move them over to the left. Just make sure I get them both on. And now I'm going to reach down through these top two, grab the red, and pull it up through. And then I'm going to just move it to the pin above here. And now I can release these bands from the pin. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to be reaching down through the top two, pushing back. And I'll get the red one to come up through. I'm going to leave this one on my hook and release these from that pin. And now I can come over here. This one, you can see it just jumped off. But I'm going to hook both of these through. So I have the two red bands on. I'm going to pull this off of the loom. And now I'm going to take a clip 
I have an S clip here and I'm just going to hook it through and then come around to the other side and grab the end here and hook that through as well. And then here is your bracelet. And I will do that for the other side as well here. Just going to take the two bands in the center and move them on top of the red. And then I'm going to bring the red up through. And just move this down here as a placeholder. Release that. And then at the top here, just going to move these down on top of the red. Then pull that up through. Going to leave this on my hook and pick up the other red. Can pull this off. And then once again, I'm going to take another S clip and hook it through the red. And then on the other side here, I'll pick up the end. Going to get it through both of the bands. And now I'm going to hook it through. And now this one's done. So you can see the difference in the bracelets. This one is the film strip bracelet where you can see, it looks like a little window to me where you can see through to the inside color. And on this side, the bands that go across are blue. And then on the flip side, it's going to be the reverse where it's the white. And then on this one, it has the blue and the white together. It makes more of a woven look because they're going opposite of one another the whole time where you can see the red. And then on the reverse side, it's still going to look white and blue. They're just going to be on the opposite sides. I hope that everyone found this tutorial fun and easy to follow. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!